Welcome Seminole baseball fans to this week's edition of K-Time. I'm Scott Kodak inside here at Hauser Stadium. Florida State and Miami really doesn't need an introduction. It's always one of the best college baseball series year in, year out. One of the best rivalries all time in college baseball. So we're going to quickly get right to your top three storylines. The first is the pitching rotation. The weekend rotation has changed quite a bit. Luke Weaver now enters the rotation on the weekend and will be your Friday night starter. Brandon Liebrandt goes Saturday and Scott Seitz goes Sunday. Luke Weaver has been arguably one of the most dominating pitchers in all of college baseball this year so far. 39 strikeouts, just five walks, is 3-0 in the season. If he can have that same, same kind of similar performance that he's had against the Gators, that he's had in the midweeks on Friday night against Miami, the Seminoles are going to have an outstanding rotation. Of course, you got a freshman All-American last year, Brandon Liebrandt pitching on Saturday, and then Scott Seitz has got an ERA of .69. That's hard to believe it's that low on Sunday. So if the Seminoles can get a great performance out of Weaver, as we all expect on Friday night, the Seminoles' rotation looks mighty impressive for the rest of the season. The second storyline is, again, staying with the whole pitching theme, is Miami's pitching. On Friday night, we'll see a guy named Brian Razuski. 0.98 ERA on the season, 41 strikeouts, numbers very similar to Luke Weaver and Scott Seitz. That young man is one heck of a pitcher. Friday night's matchup between Weaver and Radzuski will be one to watch. Of course, Miami is known for having outstanding pitching. Chris Diaz will go on the weekend as well. Javi Salas has had a great season. Florida State's going to have to control that on the mound. Miami has not been the best hitting team in the country, but they can really pitch. That's the one thing we'll have to look out for this weekend. And your third and final storyline, as we get into a rivalry matchup like this, the bottom of the order becomes so important. The guys at the top of the order in Delph, Stewart, Davis, and McGee have all been hitting the ball great. Add Brazuela and Casey Smith into that as well. But when you get to the bottom of the order, guys like Seth Miller, John Sansone over at second base, those guys become extremely important in a rivalry series and an ACC play, that's where you can score a lot of runs. If the Seminoles can have outstanding hitting towards the bottom of the order, they will walk away the series victory over Miami. That's going to do it for this week's edition of K-Time Seminole fans. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Scott Kodak. Send me an email. Tell me what you want to know about the baseball season, how you think things are going. Of course, one of the best rivalries in all of college baseball this weekend. I can't wait. Florida State, Miami, everything gets started. First pitch scheduled for 7.30 on Friday evening down in Coral Gables. So here at Hauser Stadium, I'm Scott Kodak for K-Time. We'll see you next week, baseball fans.